Our next speaker um, is Anita Owiti. Uh, coming, uh, she's a MasterCard Foundation scholar currently at the University of Edinburgh. She's studying ways to protect the environment to protect her home country, Kenya. Um, good afternoon, everyone. <coughs> um, I hope you're all well and enjoying the forum so far. Um, my name is Anita Owiti, and I'm from Kenya. As you all know, Kenya boasts of its um, national parks and the game reserves. How many of us have gone to the Mara? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, um, I would tell you sadly that um, at this point in time, we may risk losing the Mara and the Nairobi National Park at large. Um, <laughs> as a girl guide, when I was 10 years old, I developed the passion to um, conserve and protect our environment. This is when also, this is also, this also came at a time when um, Wangari Mathai, who was the Nobel Peace Prize winner in 2004, I was in grade seven at that time, she, she got awarded for being, for promoting um, sustainable development in Kenya. And this, this may have killed the dream of many other seven graders like me, but I kept the dream going and I told myself that if she could create an impact in these communities by just telling the women to plant trees and just conserve their resources because this is what they depend on, that they are the best environmental managers that exist today. Now Kenya faces uh, a lot of pressure to develop economically, <laughs> of course. We are trying to compete with the West. But this is sad because um, as they do this, they tend to exclude the social and the social sector, which is very important. They, set, they, they always um, neglect the community concerns. And this has led to in unsustainable development practices. A good example is a standard gauge railway line, which has just been, um, a part of it has just been flagged up, but um, it will run all the way from Tanzania, all the way to, uh, through Kenya and to Uganda. The reason is the the reason as to why it's being put up is to try and um, increase the economic uh, viability of East Africa, but um, in the process of all this, the Maasai have been displaced, um, and the park itself has also lost uh, a very uh, important uh, structure. I must say, we uh, we have the seventh one of the world. The milder beast migrates through the Mara River every year in August, and it's a beautiful scenery. Each and every one of you should experience this. And um, once these ecosystems are interfered with, you sort of uh, we we disturb the niche of this uh, of these populations of these animals, and we ask ourselves what 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 else what next do we have to do? And so this has uh, really gotten into me and this is when I realized that there is a problem. We need to do something. We need to make a change. We need to find a common ground. We need to realize why are we excluding these communities? Why are we not taking into consideration um, their concerns? I envision a Kenya where we will develop in a manner that the community uh, uh, economic and social benefits are taken into consideration. I envision a Kenya where we will empower these communities, let them know how important the environment is to them, so that even as these projects approach them, they know that they will be able to benefit economically from them and also still be able to benefit from the natural resources that they, uh, that they depend on. I am a current student in the University of Edinburgh pursuing a master's in environment and development. And I am also an environmental impact assessment, uh, as an environmental impact assessment expert who is registered by NEMA, National Environment Management Authority in Kenya. And I plan, I, I, my vision from now and my focus is to develop and to start up a farm that will include social mobility and social justice alongside, um, uh, alongside uh, economic, uh, economic benefits for this community. And therefore, I call on a partnership where we can all learn together and try and change this kind of business, and you, business as usual kind of scenario and create an impact and make these communities profit and also 
um, gain sustainably from this development project. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing such an important topic. I think that um, for a lot of people around the world, I think we are often taking for granted the kind of natural resources around us. And it sounds like very much so in um, where you're coming from in the community you're part of. Um, so what what do you think makes it so hard for you know all of us to think about the environment? Like what what um, and, and then what do you tell them? How do how do you make them care? It starts with it starts with creating awareness. This this communities need to know that the environment is important and that development is also important. We don't need to romanticize development towards these people, and that's often where we go wrong. We tell them of all, we we we. we we educate them, or rather inform them of all the good things the projects come with, but we don't really tell them the real picture three months, one year, three years down the line, because they will be the ones on the receiving end. And I was really inspired yesterday by uh, president of the World Bank, uh, John K uh, Jim, Jim, Jim Kim, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it, it sort of, it changed my mind, and I told myself, it doesn't matter which sector you work in. I always thought that it's only business people and investors who could always, you know, make a, uh, like make an impact, uh, invest in social entrepreneurship. It doesn't matter. Even environmentalists can get into the field. And that is where we need to draw people and let them know that it's not which sector or which discipline you are, um, you master in, but all of us can make a difference. Mm. And and I don't know if everyone noticed, but actually Anita is our only researcher speaking today here, so the only academic perspective in the room. Um, so uh, just curious, while your experience here at the forum, um, how do you feel like your background as being a researcher kind of you know, shapes your opinion uh, of the conversations we're having here? Um, I, I, as I said in the earlier question uh, that I answered, um, I, ha I have really come to realize that despite me being a researcher or an environmentalist and just looking at specific, uh, uh, s uh, specific elements in the environment, we can also include the social sector and it can be part of what I do. And that's what is meeting and that is what I intend to include henceforth. Great, thank you so much. <laughs>